this video is on uh, recovering from driver power state failure error so as soon as you see this error press and hold the power button and uh, shut down your computer and start the computer again and uh, repeat this process until you see the uh, preparing automatic repair uh, notification you need to power down your computer and restart it again until you see this so the method I'm just going to show the method in which I'm going to just show you now uh, you can recover from the driver power state failure uh, without refreshing your system or reinstalling the OS or uh, say even uh, restoring your system Without that you can recover from the error. So click cancel now. And now in the automatic uh, repair choose advanced options. Choose troubleshoot and advanced options. Choose startup settings. What you basically need to do is uh, restart your system in uh, safe mode. Choose uh, enable safe mode with uh, networking. And so now you <coughs> system would start in a uh, safe mode with uh, networking. Log in into your PC first and then I'll show you the process. So first you need to understand as to why the, this error mainly occurs. Uh, this, your system would be functioning normally and all of a sudden uh, if this error occurs it is due to any uh, Windows updates or it could be any uh, software that you just installed. Uh, those are the two main uh, there are uh, main, two main reasons for this error to occur. Nine times out of ten, uh, any Windows update or uh, malicious software uh, incompatible with the drivers that you have, that is the reason. So as soon as you start, you get some kind of a notification. Close that. And before you start anything, uh, you need to enable uh, installer in uh, command prompt. So uh, I, I'll show you as to how you need to be done I have got uh, these commands uh, I have given these commands in the description of this video say if you are uh, running uh, safe mode normal safe mode and you need to copy paste these commands in your command prompt so first uh, run command prompt as admin if you are running uh, normal safe mode uh, copy paste the first command one by one so now you get a notification that the operation uh, has been completed successfully now go to the second command copy and paste this There are, I have enclosed two sets of commands, one for the normal safe mode and another one is uh, for the safe mode with uh, networking. Open control panel and go into programs and features. So uh, here, uh, click on the installed uh, installed on uh, tab here. So what it does is it sorts the softwares by installation date. So you will roughly have an idea as to when the problem occurred. Say after uh, installing which software the problem occurred, you will have a rough idea about it. Say for, for example, in my case, my system was absolutely working fine till the 4th of November and say on the 5th when I installed a software system uh, went into that 
driver uh, power state failure error so same is in your case you will have roughly about an uh, roughly an idea as to when the error occurred and see if you have not installed any program uh, if it is a windows update choose uh, view installed updates here uh, again sort uh, the insula sort the installations or updates uh, based on the date so now go back here uh, in my case i'm choosing the latest uh, software that i just installed click on that and choose uninstall you can use the windows built in uninstaller or i would prefer to use the revo uninstaller It, yeah, it can be anything so in revo uninstaller and again you need to sort it by dates one advantage of using revo uninstaller is uh, it does a deep uh, deep uninstallation that is it removes all the registry values and empty folders so i suggest you use revo uninstaller download links are there in the description of this video so click on this and choose uninstall yes click on the advanced uh, button radio button here to scan say for uh, example if you are using the windows uninstallation or the windows uh, programs and features tool what you need to do is you need to follow it up with a ccleaner or registry scan but in case of revo uninstaller this automatically scans for the registry uh, errors So if you are using the windows uh, uninstaller tool you need to run the scene cleaner and the registry and uh, scan for issues and fix all okay so since i am using a revo uninstaller uh, i will not use the c cleaner select all delete choose yes and after that install the second uh, uninstall the second software as well if it prompts you uh, asking you to restart do not restart select all delete s yes. So the uninstallation is done and now what will happen is even if you give a restart your system will not restart so do not uh, press restart or anything just hold uh, press and hold your power button and shut down your computer even if uh, if you give restart what will happen is it will uh, you will get the restarting screen and it will just keep circling it is of uh, it is of no use and again it will uh, you will get the driver power state failure notification just press and hold the power uh, button and restart your computer again and now you can see my system has uh, restarted without any errors so it has now restarted normally so that is it guys so that is how you fix the driver uh, power state failure error i hope this is uh, useful and informative and if you feel so please subscribe for more such videos thank you